Hello, today I'm going to discuss my approach to uh, for implementing Tic Tac Toe application, uh, which is a very simple, well-known game to everyone. Um, <coughs> but the difference is that uh, I will try to use the um, neural network as a uh, essential part of the decision-making uh, engine when it comes to next move. Uh, when there is a machine turn. Um, long time ago, <coughs> I was implementing a different tic-tac-toe game, which is based on a min-max algorithm. Uh, feel free to play it. It's uh, published on my GitHub. <coughs> so this algorithm helped me to prepare proper data uh, that I was using to train on uh, the neural network uh, for this um, application. Because uh, in artificial intelligence, especially neural networks, everything uh, depends on data. So the, the structure of the model is very important. However, the proper data, highly quality data, are the essential. Uh, I will speak about data later, but now let's get back to this tic-tac-toe min-max algorithm uh, uh, implementation. So this is a simple JavaScript page without on the back end. Uh, so what uh, this algorithm does is it's just evaluating each possible game in response to human move. Uh, after evaluating each possible game, uh, it's getting kind of uh, um, a number uh, which field is the most effective field for the next move. Um, the game evaluation takes place uh, recursively. Uh, it's creating a game tree. It's possible in case of this game because this is closed game and very simple there are uh, not that many um, combinations. It's about uh, 200,000 possible games, something like this, which is uh, incomparable. incomparable uh, for example, uh, if we take uh, Go game or chess game, where the number of com possible combination is, uh, is like, in reality, in terms of computing power, is uh, like infinite it's highest than the number of uh, particles in the universe. So we cannot approach different games with such algorithm which is effective and um, doesn't make any mistakes. Yeah. Um, so we need to use um, artificial intelligence, which is the, the trend today. Um, so as you can see, I will play a very short game. I am not able to win against this uh, tic-tac-toe uh, min-max algorithm engine. And probably I will cover the uh, the what's under the hood in this application um, in some other movie. Okay, now let's uh, get back to the neural network approach. So, uh, in opposite to the, the former tic-tac-toe application, this is uh, the Spring Boot application running on Tomcat. Um, so, each computation takes place um, um, on the server. It's uh, I was using Java language to uh, to implement the uh, game abstraction, uh, user interface, and uh, more importantly, the abstraction representing neural networks. Because I was not using the ready-to-use library li like um, deep learning for J or something like this. I was implementing the neural network from scratch, so I implemented the model uh, that is allowing to define some specific topologies. And also I was using some loss functions and uh, their derivatives to calculate the error. So I will get back to this later. Okay, when it comes to the game itself, I was trying to uh, figure out what kind of uh, neural network topology uh, would be the most effective. So I had no experience. Uh, so I was doing a lot, lot, uh, many, many experiments. Um, and finally, I ended up with this structure. 
actually, it is the second structure that was in fact effective in my case. Uh, this consists from two hidden layers, which is sufficient for the purpose of tic-tac-toe game. Uh, as an input vector in the neural network, uh, I am using the 18 entries where the first part, uh, first half represent places where X is uh, present and the second part represent the, uh, uh, the vector uh, with one uh, value where the O or, or node is present. <coughs> so uh, we, can, we can easily map the uh, current board state into this input vector, which consists from just zeros and uh, ones. Uh, as a hidden layer, I was using kind of uh, uh, neurons along with activation functions, which is a uh, hyperbolic tangent. Um, this is very, um, very effective uh, according to my experiments, and also according to, to the knowledge from the web, very effective um, activation function uh, for the neural networks, uh, much more effective than the sigmoid. Um, basically, uh, for the purpose of some general uh, knowledge, uh, this um, um, this uh, hyperbolic function activates neurons, so it fires or not. Basically, the output value of each neuron in hidden layers uh, it might be close to minus one or one. Yeah, <laughs> so um, this way we can create, actually not we, but the neural network can create for us a number of um, hidden connections and relations uh, in response to data, data set that we are using to feed the, ne the, the network during the learn process. Um, so as you can see, the hyperbolic tangent function is non-linear, which is, which is, uh, which is, um, expected because uh, it helps to normalize the output of each neuron so it is in range minus one to one um, and it helps learning patterns um, as an output i just use the nine neurons numbered numbered from zero to eight and each neurons uh, is activated by softmax softmax function um, which is represented by this equation. Um, so values of each neuron represent um, kind of uh, probability or, or uh, effectiveness between zero and one. The closer to one, the more effective is the move and probably the engine will, uh, will pick the one that, th that has the maximum. Um, all right. If I switch to the code, um, as you can see, the the project structure consists from the a game package, which represents some number of classes that are helpful in terms of carrying out the game. Uh, and also we have number of general classes that are allow that, which allows us to implement the um, needed neural network topology. So the core class is neural network. Um, and this class has several important methods. So the most important is train, which accepts a data set. Uh, and this data set is used first to, um, um, to make a prediction and as a result of this prediction, we receive predicted values that we are uh, then using uh, to calculate the error against the expected output. Uh, and then using this error, we are using well-known backpropagation algorithm here. Um, I am not going to explain it in detail because it's uh, out of scope of this uh, short movie. Uh, feel free to pull this uh, this code from the GitHub. I will put a link below so you can analyze this by yourself. Um, basically, basically, the formal approach to backpropagation is that we are t 
taking the number of neurons in each layer except input layer. Uh, for each neuron, we are calculating the derivative of the of the error function uh, of the total error function, and using this derivative, we are uh, we are uh, altering the weights. Uh, uh, between each neuron, so the the weights, the, uh, uh, changing weights is the essential uh, part of learning process because they affect the uh, further results for the not known data um, in the future. Um, in terms of the implementation of neural network. Uh, it's worth to mention that I'm not using any matrix. Uh, I'm just using the library, uh, which is called um, JGraphT, uh, which allows us to build a simple graph, serialize it, visualize it, uh, add, remove vertex, and so on. So um, another essential, um, another essential piece of logic is the neuron class which is associated with which with transfer function which i was calling activation function so uh, we can pick the real leaky real sigmoid hyperbolic tangent and softmax uh, i'm i highly recommend to familiar familiarize your you with those functions because they are the most popular functions uh, in neural networks uh, and understanding them help you to understand what is going on under the hood. Uh, because today you are able to use an library that expose some API for neural network, but uh, you won't gonna know what uh, you won't gonna learn how it works in reality. Um, okay. Uh, we have the tic-tac-toe machine learning specification in Spock here, which is the uh, mostly um, mostly executed part of this program, because uh, those tests I was using to uh, define the neural network and learn it with the data that I previously stored in a file in JSON format. So uh, I was trying to stored the games that was was uh, that that were played by the minmax tic tac toe agent and the random tic tac toe agent so uh, minmax tic tac toe agent were using this very effective algorithm and um, to win the game and the random agent is just a agent that is playing the tic tac toe game but it, it's, it picks randomly the uh, not occupied play, free place on a board, yeah? So uh, we can expect that this one always, is always winning on or drawing with the random tic-tac-toe agent. So I was preparing two data set, one where the minimax is playing with X and the second one when the minimax is playing with O's. And here uh, I have the two two JSON files with stored games. So you can see uh, here how the game is stored. The game is stored with the unique key uh, representing the subsequent board states, uh, the information who won the game, and also uh, board states associated with the next move that has been done. Um, so I can I can easily convert those data into data set here in this specification and fit my neural network. So as an example, I will try to run this file-based supervised learning. Uh, so here is the definition of my network, which corresponds to what I shown you here. Uh, here. Um, and so there are two hidden layers, uh, 15 and uh, 12 neurons. Output is nine neurons. Input is 18 neurons. Uh, both layers are using hyperbolic tangent as activation. We are using a softmax function as a, um, 
Also eine Activation Function ist eine Cross Entropy, also man kann es to calculate the, the error, which is very, very, um, which fits best the softmax function according to the information from the internet as well. We can, we could use potentially the mean square error function, but the cross entropy is much more, uh, much better if we use the softmax. Uh, yeah, so I just started the, the learning process. So uh, here this application is creating a data, data that, and now is trying to learn. So the learning process stops when the aver average delta error uh, reaches value close to zero. And as a result of this test, we are, we are ending up with some new net file, uh, which is here. So we can try this by yourself when you pull this project. Um, then we can uh, pass this uh, NN file, ANN file to the neural network constructor in uh, the application configuration uh, where the main uh, artificial neural network tic-tac-toe agent is created. So here I'm creating the agent which is using specific trained neural network file. Um, now I will switch to the to the game. So this is this is the um, uh, Spring Boot application with Bootstrap layout. Uh, if I put known here, I will try to block here. Okay, now I won. So as you can see, uh, this um, trinet neural network is not one hundred percent effective. Uh, you can find some tests uh, in my project where you um, compare its effectiveness against random plier um, um, where the over 10,000 games is played. So the effectiveness of this particular neural network uh, trained by me uh, is uh, close to 90%. So I will try to play again. Okay, now I lost the game. I will try to block him. Okay, now it's a bit harder. Okay, he, he won. Okay, now I will try to win. I won. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, now, now it's not possible. Yeah, so uh, actually this is a kind of uh, intermediate stage of uh, development and learning process. My goal is was not to uh, create the a perfect plier for now. It's just the um, proof of concept that you know, my my implementation of neural network is capable to to uh, to learn and uh, forward past values and predict correct values um, for the most of the time. Yeah. Um, okay. So that's basically it. So feel free to try this out. Uh, I'm going to update this uh, from time to time, so you, you might expect some changes in, in the GitHub re repository. Okay, thank you for now, right?